So we're up to abyss floor three. This floor is a little bit tricky. We need to be able to kill the boss without triggering the outrage skill. Now the outrage skill is pretty simple. If you put a defense break on the boss, you trigger outrage. So we have to beat this boss without defense breaks. We also need to use an extinction unit because the boss will raise itself at the very end of the fight and that's hard to live through, especially with healers being banned for this fight as a condition. So I pick Sigrid. She's a blue unit and other than Dark Corvus, probably about the only non-green extinction unit we have access to. Um, Arbiter Vildred is a really good choice for this. He's got a blind on his S3 and his hits are always multi-target. If you single target hit the Lich, it self pushes and pushes up all of the adds, and that can be a problem. Since we're not allowed to have a healer, I'm going to use a Bloodstone Ranger, and Yuna is perfect for this. Yuna pushes everybody when she does an S1, which is great, and her attacks are always AoE, so she actually spams a really good amount of healing. And uh, Lilius, I'm taking along so that I have a knight to carry a mitigation artifact. And also Lilius's S3 is a cleanse, which is very important as you'll see, because this fight is loaded with debuffs. So running a little bit slow at start is not a bad idea. That way these debuffs go off and Lilius can cleanse them right out of the gate. I didn't tune my Arby very well here. You would want your Lilius to go before Arby. But luckily they didn't blind Arby, so he was able to use his S3 and blind everybody. Now Lilius can take off those annoying debuffs. Now you notice the AoEs when they hit, the enemy doesn't move forward. So that's part of the beauty of using Yuna in this fight, as well as Arbiter Vildred. When I need to do a single target attack with Lilius, you want to make sure you target somebody that's not the Lich. Because if you target the Lich like that, as you can see, everybody pushed forward, all the enemy pushed forward a little bit. You want to limit that as much as possible. Now my Sigrid is blinded, so I'm going to hold off on using her S2 skill until the blind is off. It does a lot of damage, and I don't want to waste it. You really want to try to push through this as quickly as possible because we don't have a lot of sustain on the team. Now I will use the S2 here, it gives Lilius a shield, and the shield is basically her own form of healing. That's health lost on the shield instead of health lost on her main bar. So this is another great aspect of Yuna. Her S3 is another large AoE attack, so that's a big heal for the team, and it procs an extra turn, so she can go immediately from this into her S1, for another heal. This serves two purposes. One, it double heals the party, and two, it cycles off any debuffs she might have on her. Arby's S1 does give a small pushback. It's not a big one, but hey, every little bit. My Sigrid is still blinded, so I'm still going to hold off on using her S2, because I really want that S2 to land and do a substantial amount of damage. Um, Next turn is Lilius's S3, so I'm in really good shape to be able to use her to cleanse any debuffs. The dual attack with Yuna is excellent. Um, because I'm not really that hurt, I'll go ahead and use her S2. That'll give everybody a speed buff and put attack buffs on everybody. It even gave a greater attack buff to uh, Sigrid and to Conqueror, or to uh, Fire Lilius. Okay, so I got attack broken, but that's okay. Lilius can strip that away. And now I'm in a perfect position to be able to use the S2, S3 combo. So, good time to burn the skill. This will give me the extra turn. You want to land at least one debuff here. The extra swipe gets a second debuff, and now I can use her S3 for some substantial damage. Now paying close attention to how much damage she does with that S3 into two bleeds, it was about 13% of the health bar, and that's good to take note of because that's the skill that we need to use to kill the Burning Eye Lich and activate Extinction. So you want to get the boss into that 10 to 13% range, at least with my build. Hopefully yours will be stronger. 
and have her S3 ready. So that, that gives me a pretty good idea of where I need to be. So I do recommend using that skill at least once so you know when the Lich is in range to be one-shotted. I tried putting 100% effect res on all the units because normally bosses have 100% effectiveness and you need 200% ER, but normally the adds, the smaller units, only have zero effectiveness, so 100% ER is enough to resist. But even with 100% ER, the smaller units were debuffing me left and right, so their attacks are either unresistible, or ignore resist, or they're they have a special higher effectiveness than normal subunits, so I don't think it's worth it trying to build a high resist team just to avoid their debuffs. The way to go is to take a cleansing unit like Lilius with you to keep them off. Uh, Arky does work on this phase, so you can pop an Arky to drop about 10 or 15 percent off of the Lich's damage bar, but I think you want to save those souls to burn Yuna. Burning Yuna gives you a big heal, uh, and also to burn Sigrid. I, I'm, I'm tempted to burn Yuna here because Sigrid is so low on health, but I, I really want to have the souls to be able to, to burn Sigrid, so I'm going to risk that they don't hit her for a change, and um, hopefully be able to finish this fight off here in just a couple of minutes. My S3 won't be ready if I burn now, so I'm just going to do an S1, and I'm not going to do it into the Lich because I don't want to push the enemy up. Okay, so this is good timing. I can use the S3. This will heal everybody up. And it'll proc an extra turn on Yuna, which will let me heal everybody up. Well, not everybody. It's a single target heal, but the fact that she does it twice is a pretty good way to heal up your party. Okay, so we're going to take off those debuffs. Oh, nuts. I, I screwed up there. I didn't check the lineup here, they're going to use their skills and put those debuffs right back on. I should have sandbagged her S3 an extra round. So now I've got to stall a little bit, and stalling's hard when, you've, when you're when you so low on health. So I'll go ahead and release her S3 to heal everybody up a little bit. Not a lot, but every little bit helps. Got a little bit of a pushback. And, man, I'm running really, really, really bare on health. Very tempted to rip the S2 here now, but relying on both the S2 and the S3 to hit while blinded, that's a pretty big ask. So I'm going to go ahead and push it a little bit further. Okay. Looks like I got lucky enough that uh, they left Sigrid alone. Go ahead and give myself a barrier. And continue to use Yuna's Bloodstone to heal the party. I thought about burning here, but with Yuna being blinded, I didn't want to waste the souls on a less than spectacular heal because of uh, missed hits while blind. Okay, so we're ready for the show now. Lilius is going to cut, so I'll be able to strip that blind. So I'll use Yuna's skill to apply attack buff. Nice, I got a greater attack buff, so I should do plenty of damage. My Lilius was stunned. Okay, well... All that's left is ruined. It's nice when they kill Arby. He comes back with all his debuffs gone, and he gets to use his S3 and blind people again. I am well within that 13% range now, where I should be able to one-shot the boss. I'm going to go ahead and risk it. So, as feared, the blind made me miss, but my S3 is ready, and unlike last time, I have greater attack buffs, so this should kill. And there we go. Plenty of damage. The boss is extinct, so she can't come back, and we do a full completion. I hope this video helps you guys out in uh, completing this mission, and um, if you like the video, please drop a like and subscribe.